Hello, everyone. Um, this is going to be um, a basic way to do a build a zoo for the weekly or every other weekly community challenges if you want to do those. You can only do them in franchise mode, and um, every week it's a different challenge. So, the one coming up, which starts next week, um, so you have a week in between each one to build your zoos is um, getting gold rated antelopes and I made a list my little notebook here I keep everything written down so what I have based on the Zoopedia is Gibbons book bongo the Nile leash Lech, the Nala the Okapi pronghorn sable the horned orcs the springbok and the gazelle That's what I have listed to get gold-rated um, antelope. Now, with franchise zoos, you start out with 40,000. Now, a cheat you can do is if you have animals, you can um, transfer the, your animals. Your animals and your conservation credits transfer from zoo to zoo and franchise. Um, so... A cheat is to actually take the animals you have and sell the ones you don't need for cash. But if it's your first zoo, obviously you cannot do that. Oops. Yeah, that's right. So, I'm going to do a different path. I've been loving this green path that they added, but I'm going to do a different one. Let's do our path. Let's do orange. I always like to make a wide entrance path, so... Guests don't get jammed up when they walk in and walk out. And then from there, you can branch off in various directions. And of course, you're going to need um, fac facilities. Excuse me. Turn off blueprints. Whoops. So you want to start out very, very basic. Um, you definitely need an animal building. You don't want to put it too close because you can't turn off um, impact, negative impact like you can in sandbox mode. Um, and you can always delete these later and replace them or build them, build upon them or move them or whatever you want to do. So you need an animal trade center. Um, keeper's hut you can always put next to your exhibits. It just depends on how you want to do it. You'll need a research center if you haven't researched at all. If nothing's been researched. You'll need a staff room. At least a small one to start with. You'll need a workshop too if you haven't um, researched your themes and things. Veterinary surgery. And probably a small quarantine is what I'm starting with. Like I said, if you don't have research center, get a small research center and a small workshop if you need to research stuff. You can always upgrade to large later. But $4,000 when you don't have any money is not a good start. I'm going to go and throw in the keeper's hood. Start over there. I love aligning the grid. That just to me just really works well for me. I love aligning whenever I can. That tree needs to move. Tree's in my way. And the other thing too, what's nice. Um, is when you're wanting to decorate, even though trees and stuff aren't that expensive. I mean, you've got a lot of trees. You can just move them around to decorate and get that scenery, scenery boost that your guests love. Path. 
Uh, whoops, line the grid. Fuck, I still need to move trees. Come on. There we go. Ah, sorry. Got a second screen recently, and I keep moving my mouse over to the second screen. Like I said, you can decorate all this later. Um, you can put a barrier fence around it if you want to hide it. Like, this is a cheap one. You can literally just do the hedgerow. So later on, you can come back in and change everything. You can put up custom fencing or whatever. Whatever you want. What do you mean obstructed? Okay, it's so finicky trying to put this next to the path, though. Really? Are we seriously going to be this difficult? There we go. And then you can make it as tall as you want. Maybe. It really going to be difficult. This game sometimes is just weird. Sometimes you can do stuff just fine, and other times it's like, nope, not gonna let you do it. See? But you can raise it up. Hide your stuff. That right up to the fence. The plus and minus keys you can use as a quick way to um, shrink, or you can hold the right mouse key down. It's another way to do it. But again, be careful doing this because it costs money. You can put some kind of gate there, door there. Now, we've got that done. Let's move this tree. Excuse me. Just move trees around as you see fit. Now, a quick way to earn money is the exhibits. So, you want to start small in this game. No decorating. People love to crowd around these, especially if that's all that's in your zoo. So I like to make okay. 
as wide a path as possible. Yeah, I'll have to move some trees. That's okay. Later on, you can put stuff around this. You can turn this into a building. You can move them. Whatever you feel like you need to do or want to do. I've been working on like filling in these spaces right here with foliage or rocks or other trees but for now we're just gonna move the trees over here This is very important. If you want to earn money, I literally like to put them at all four corners. You guys don't have to walk very far to throw their money in. And if you watch the game, they literally throw the money. It's funny. Looks like I need to add more. Half their dollar. It's not working the way I want it to. This pathing system in this game is weird sometimes. We got plenty of room to go that way, I guess. And the other important thing is education. There it is. This is the exhibit education board. can't see very well because it's dark, you're in shadows, hit L. It'll light up your keyboard. I mean, it'll light up your screen, not your keyboard, your screen. So you can see the difference. I'll just turn it on and off so you can see the difference. Again, this is antelopes, but they cost money to feed. Not as much as the carnivores do. They're actually a lot cheaper, but they take up a lot of room and space and staff to take care of them. Especially when they start breeding. Like the springbrock and the gazelle breed like crazy. Okay, right, there we go. And then we need an educational speaker. I like to put them up above. That's just me. Turning off the grouping because I don't want it to group together. It makes it difficult later on when you want to try to separate one thing at a time. 
Okay, now we need some animals for the guests to come in and see. Uh, exhibit trading, there we go. So you want to go with things that breed quickly. And you can get a male and a female. These spiders usually breed pretty quickly, so we'll go with the Brazilian spider. It's a Brazilian salmon. Okay. The Brazilian wandering spider is another good one. And we need one more. Since we're doing spiders, let's stick with that thing. Let's find the. There's a Mexican spider. That's usually another good one that breeds quickly. Except they don't have any males! Dag nabbit! Alright, what else we got? Oh, the beetles are good. They breed quickly. So we'll go with female. And a male. Okay. And I'm getting a message that they're not in their correct temperatures, which I need that. So you come in here, go to climate. They need to be in a range of 68 to 95. And they're in 100, so let's go about 80. This has to be 40 to 60, so let's go about 50. I said 50, there we go. This one... A little tighter, 73 to 84. We'll go 82, and that one's already in the range. Oops. Well, hmm. uh, let's do it then. Long trunk. Broken wide hollow. I like to do all three basking lamps just because they need light. Do 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 drop. Voluntary mm -hmm. <laughs> A. B. Doesn't take much. You could do all three or you could just do one. As long as you get it to 100. So we'll do it. About 80 on that one. Yeah, 78 works too. They're in the range. Layout. Release. Broken Hollow, and Tropical A. Okay, now we need staff to take care of them. I'm down to 14,000. I'm doing pretty good. You also want to start very, very narrow with your guest. So in this case, I'm doing, I'm going to do one keeper, because it doesn't take much to do that. One mechanic. One vet. We'll do a couple caretakers, just because I'm going to add food and drink. Um, two security guards. And two educators. And here we go. Start turning this on. Oopsie. Come my guest. Got seven.
Hmm. It's telling me I need a workshop and a research center, but I don't need to research anything, so I'm just going to ignore that for now. You can do custom music if you've downloaded stuff, which I have actually. As you can see, I have a ton of stuff. And I have something about the dung beetles, I just have to find it. Dung beetles and their big balls of poop. And then I have something about insects. Which show the invasive species, that's a good one. Because insects tend to want it being an invasive species half the time. In this one I think I'll do... I think I have the world's largest spider. Even though they're not the world's largest spider. But I have something about the world's largest spiders. See, and I've got this thing is green and going up, and I haven't even hardly done anything. Benches in the back, just for kicks. People place to sit. Couple of ATM machines, in case I need money. Yet. You can also speed the game up too. See, it's staying in the 13k range and struggling though, but it's staying there. On these guys and say hello, hello. 
and you'll get 20 conservation credits. You can do it like, like five times a game. And it's getting dark. Okay, it's not red yet. I need babies! Come on, I need babies. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> you can get the overall guess to Zoo Pro is pretty small, obviously. There's not enough to do here. Clearly. Give me some money. I wish there was some place to sit down. I just gave you benches. Mm. Oh, I guess that was the I was like, who is that? I'm seeing her crying. With security guards and Fortunately, <clears throat> security cameras come in handy. Actually, <clears throat> I'm horrible about placing security cameras. I gotta work on that. Are tipped with tiny stinging barbs. By rubbing its legs, it flicks them up <clears throat> in the air in a cloud of miniature missiles, like tiny Thank you. sliver. Oh, come on! I need babies. Why am I not getting babies? Hit this little button for duplicates so you don't have to go searching through the menu. People are complaining about places to sit. With the occasional frog or rodent, right, like this one. Information center. Fangs almost an inch long pump neurotoxins into the dying mouse. The spider hauls it back to its burrow, liquefying the insides before sucking its meal dry. Okay, thank you. That was, like, not details I needed to hear. One's usually a pretty big hit, so we'll put that one in. I said you don't want to go overboard. You want this to be going up more than it goes down. You can also, while you're doing it, just check your ongoing expenses tab. So my staff wages are 5000 right now. Scenery costs 125 Everything else is positive. Well, faculty is negative, $11. So I'm only negative 633 profits right now, which isn't bad, actually. It's not great, but it's not bad. Don't do loans. Loans will kill you. Because you gotta pay them back. I mean, push come to shove. If you get into that much of a pinch, sell something. 
Just let your guests go without. Because they're not staying very long anyway, so you don't need a lot. They're literally coming in, looking at these three, and walking out. So I'm up to 9,000, so that's good. I'm going up. I need these guys to breed. There we go. Finally. So once you get some, you just go and select all, and then that's a thousand dollars right there just for those three. Eleven hundred. Just for those three. You can hold on to them and save them for when you get really tight on money. And then sell them, or you can sell them as you go. It's so whatever you want to do. But again, that's a really quick way to make money. But make sure you always leave a breeding pair. And unlike the habitat animals, it doesn't matter if these guys inbreed for some reason. <clears throat> so you don't have to keep track of who's related to who and the, and the exhibit animals. Let's speed the game up again. And I'm only 30 minutes into the game, so this isn't bad. I'd like to try to get one habitat animal going. Even if it's a small one. And very basic. And what's nice is I actually have a ton of animals. Um, so I literally can, like, set up the bongos if I wanted to. Um, I'm trying hard not to, so I'll probably do the Gims book, though. Because they're desert animals, and they're cheap, and um, they're not shy. So I'll probably start with the Gims book. Gims book bonk. If I can say it right. So let's see here. I'm gonna move these trees. Let's try that again. Now I'll put them over here. Let's turn them around. You don't want to go expensive with your fencing either. And concrete's two dollars. Steel mesh is three dollars. <sighs> Now 
Now, because I've done research, I have the privacy glass, the one-way glass, but if you haven't done research, you'll have to research that on, in your workshop. Really comes in handy when you've got animals that are really, really shy. Again, you don't want to go overboard. Let's get the basics out of the way. And if you haven't researched, say for the Gimsbok, you're not going to have all of this stuff either. You'll have the basics. You'll have a food tray. You'll have the water. I always use the water pipe. Because these have to be cleaned. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. And these have to be cleaned and filled. And sometimes your zookeepers um, just won't fill and clean like they're supposed to. This one's, um, the water pipe's automatic. I like to put the food up near the fence. This gets the guests. It gets them near the guests, so the guests don't complain. The view is terrible. I don't usually use this much, although it's not that big a deal if you do. Um, now the fun part, we need a shelter. And again, I don't want to go overboard. I can go with Planet Zoo theme and then turn on the prints. I'm trying to get down to the Planet Zoo stuff that actually came in the base game. I have to go past it. Oh yeah, this, this stuff right here. This stuff. So we'll go with this shelter. Again, if you're just new to this, this is all you're going to have. I just have a bunch of stuff downloaded from the workshop. So now we can turn off blueprints. Turn off Planet Zoo. Bedding in there. Yeah, it's too large bedding. Some people go sparse with their bedding. I like to fill up the whole space. It's just my years of being a horse person. You don't leave a lot of... You want to cover every corner of the stall, basically. And you want to make it thick and deep. There we go. Oh, you know what? We need an entrance. Huh. Need a way for the keepers to get in. That's good. And it's dark, I can't see. Oh, we're really gonna be that difficult.
Now, still at eight thousand dollars, so I'm doing good. Let's add the game spot. sand since it's the desert. I'm gonna put a bunch of desert plants right plants right here. Eventually. Let's make that the whole area. Now we'll check on their situation. Okay, everything's good there. Need to add some plants, but that's okay. They've got plenty of space. They got 100% hard shelter. So let's add plants. You can actually click on this, and it'll bring nature up. And then click on that, and it brings up desert, so you don't have to go through all that. And you've already got your biome and your continent set up, ready to go. Whoa, where are you going? My mouse is nuts. Now what's interesting with this game that was different from Zoo Tycoon is that even if you have negative this goes into the red because you have way too many plants or you have plants down here that don't aren't compatible it doesn't affect the animals welfare they don't seem to care it just looks ugly on paper
gonna move the water, huh? Don't need the keeper sanding in it. Let's move it over here. I suppose the view is fine. I know what you want from me, lady. <sighs> I've already made forty dollars in donations. Look at that. There we go. I think that's good. Set it up just in time, look at that. How do we get stuck in there? That made no sense. I don't know about the games box. Orashum Fado, Trebuva Fastolideo, Phantom Tunnel, Carfo Villod, Futokito, Tapor Pardus, We Peeper Dormi, Philocat Stem, Common Sato Carle, Human Activities, Fatasun Fai Alomu Pish, Our Climate Change, Water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and chlorofluorocarbon. Sunlight in, but keep people getting stuck. I don't understand this. The more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the more it gets trapped, strengthening the greenhouse temperature. It's where the gas would have been stuck. So my profit's now 138. Staff wages are down to 1700. Purchases were 1000. Faculty costs are $52. Scenery is $52. Taxes are 130 So not bad, I'm making a profit. Let's see what the guests are saying now. Okay, they've had one pickpocket. Ooh, one pickpocket and they've been caught. Nice. 
Ticket's great, Z feels pretty small, talk was amazing. We need a drink shop. Yeah, 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 I know you need a drink shop. These animals spread yet? Where do they have? Good. There we go. That would be more money. So that would be... 1300. I'm just gonna hang on to them for now. What do you do? Whoops. So everything's in the green except for hunger and thirst, which is... Understandable considering it's hot out. Well, it's actually not that hot. It's 79. But I don't have any food or drink shops yet. change the color of your benches just so you know so I could go from green to wood color to like sandy it's a good desert color and that's a good desert color Something I'm not usually good at doing, I'm gonna put up a security post. <laughs> What's really cool is you can enter the camera view. How cool is that, man? And you can scroll all the way around. How cool is that? That is sweet that you can do that. Is the so is the Goliath bird eater. And then you can do this one, which is mounted. The surface. So I literally could do this. When camouflage as a defense is not an option, learn to stand. But Dantinos have been doing this for millions of years, so they don't get sick from it. In fact, they get all sorts of good nutrients from the food. Nutrients are things like vitamins and minerals that help living things grow. If you've ever heard about vitamins, you can human milk. Practically never. It prowls the Amazon mainly in search of insects, with the occasional frog or rodent, like this one. Yeah. 
The spider relies on vibration sensitive hairs to warn it of danger. Tonight, danger takes the form of a koati. The spider bears its fangs, warning, back off or be bitten. That's fine. Well, it's good to check your camera views, people. to 11,000. Look at that. And I haven't even done anything. I've been fighting with my security cameras. I should probably put one right there, huh? Let's put a big one right there between the ATM machines. We'll put this tall one right here. Yeah, hi. The other thing I'm horrible about are lights. I'm putting lights in my zoo. But I also like to do this. I just keep it daylight in my zoo. Playing this game for ages, and I just realized you could do that. Let's see, do we have any more babies? Nope. No babies? We have babies. Babies! Would you two give me babies? Will you two give me babies? Why don't you give me babies? I need babies to sell. I'm up to 12,000, so I'm not even really doing that much. Probably add drinks and stuff now. Fact, I think. Not daylight. The spider bears its fangs. Warning. Back off. I'm gonna put counters right here. Isn't frightened. The we'll start with the needs a long range weapon. Beef counter. We'll put it right here. Fortunately, it has one. Many actually. <coughs> then we need a drink counter. Tipped with tiny stinging energy bars. counter. By rubbing its legs, it flicks them up into the air in a cloud of miniature missiles. Like tiny slivers, they burn eyes, nose, and mouth. <laughs> the koati's appetite <laughs> is gone. Seriously, once you start putting food and drink in, put trash cans everywhere. Guests don't have a trash can within five feet of themselves, they will drop it on the ground. I found putting them next to the donation bins is very helpful. Thank you. 
good vitamins and minerals travel straight through their bodies. And again, you can decorate these later or replace them. <clears throat> of course, this also means I now need a restroom. I think we'll put it right here. This tree up a little bit. I'm putting it near them. This one come on for sake? Oh, the <laughs> It's strange how you can, like, smooth out the terrain a certain amount. But you can't delete this, but you can delete this part. Go figure. Yeah, that's something else. If you wanted to redo this entrance, this part back here cannot be deleted, but this part can be. So, if you wanted to rebuild your entrance, you would only be able to rebuild this part. In franchise. In sandbox mode, you can delete the whole thing. And start over. But in franchise, you can only delete this front part. But again, you wouldn't be able to do anything about it until you have money in the game anyway. Well, my hunger's good now. Just gotta get thirst and education up. Okay, we're going to the bathroom. Why aren't you giving me bebas? You guys are giving me bebas. Why are my dung beetles giving me bebas? I don't understand. Let you guys, you guys giving me bebas. Oh, the berry is too quick. Oh yeah, look at that. Both females are pregnant. Oh, that guy's been busy. Daddy been busy. Climate change. Okay, so I'm gonna add one more zookeeper. Again, you wanna be careful. Do this slowly. And I'm gonna add one more. Okay. One more bit. isn't frightened.
Okay, it's a new year, so let's see how our fun is that are doing. Still good. Total profit six hundred and six hundred dollars, roughly. Staff wages nine hundred, almost a thousand. A thousand. <coughs> this isn't bad. This is how you do this. I have zero purchases right now. No refunds. No power cost right now because I haven't gone far enough out to have to buy. Or use power. power. Yeah. Although I saw it. I tried this in another zoo. Someone made a comment um, somewhere online that using hang on, this is power. See, look at that. Look how much power that takes up, how much space that takes up. I literally could put it here and power this almost half of the zoo. The problem I found when I did it is that for some reason my staff would somehow get caught there and then they would be like, I can't find a facility to rest. I can't find the staff room basically. <clears throat> and I'd have to click on them and they'd be standing in the they'd be standing in the thing, so I'd have to go release them. Pick them up and move them. And you can't bury them underground, but I was able to, like, cover them with, um, bushes and stuff, so they weren't visible. Or I could hide them back here. So, I don't know, but they do work as far as, like, power. I guess we could put another counter right here. Let's see. What do we got for counters? They actually recently added. Oh. Counters for the gifts. Let's see. Information counter. Oh, let's do a Looney Balloons counter. Because people love the balloons. That would be cool. Put that right there. Against the other counter. There we go. Kind of horseshoe shaped, didn't it? Why are you guys not breeding? Like, seriously, what's going on with you guys? Why aren't you breeding? What's going on with you guys? I need you to breed. I <laughs> need to drink. Uh, and again, you can decorate these later and replace them, whatever, when you have more money. Because again, the more stands you have, the more vendors you have, which means more staff. Which means more money. And once you get below 5,000, you'll get a notification that you're low on cash. So I'm trying to stay above 5,000. Woo! We're doing good. Have we had the babies yet? Oh, we got a baby. Got one baby. The other one's still pregnant. When are you due? Due in about a month. Give or take. We have one baby. Babies tend to increase some um, zoo visits and donations as well. See, look at them throw that. Wee! That's quite the throw. See, 1100. Look at that. 1100 in donations. Just in that one bin alone. That one's 160. Okay, I 
My animal rating is three stars. My guest education rating is almost five stars. I guess happiness is five stars. Marketing is zero because I haven't turned marketing on, which I don't have the money to turn marketing on. So thirst in education still. Ooh, hold up. Good way to bring up education. Duh. to put up the conservation boards. These. Where's a good place to put this? Put a couple right here, just coming in. I like the B one because I have a custom one just for the. Seven. Seven amazing B packs. It's a little video. It's another little video. So putting videos on, you gotta be careful too, because it'll slow down your graphics if you play too many videos. Thank you for donating on the way out, it's a good one. Okay, ready. I'm up with the music. And I'm up to 8,000. And that'll boost education. I <coughs> should put one right in here, too. See if I can fit one right there. Climate change Maybe. Caused by humans. Humans are also the ones who can combat it. If we work to replace fossil fuels with renewable energy sources like solar and wind, which don't produce greenhouse gas emissions, we might still be able to prevent some of the worst effects. Climate change, wind share, invasive species, species reintroduction. Trying to keep the music at a minimum so I don't get dinged. YouTube is so weird about that. <clears throat> Let's see, impact. That's a good one. A phenomenon known as the greenhouse effect. Okay, already. What is your problem? Okay, I'll stop complaining. I'm actually gonna add another gift shop, I mean, a uh, gift shop staff room eventually. But I don't wanna do it just yet. Ooh, and I should actually have a... Keeper's hut. Huh. Next to the thing. My bad. What's really cool is I've seen people do this. Let me fix my thumbs back here. Let's turn that into a glass fence and then the keeper can actually 
see into it. Alright, buddy. I'm not even trying to get to that. Let's see. See, keepers in there now. See, they can actually see while they're working. While they're preparing the food, they can see the animals. Kind of cool. See, and really, we don't even need this one, so we can just delete it. Turn into a little rest area for the staff, even though they don't technically use it. But we can put little chairs and tables and benches back here. I've actually thrown um, the restaurant tables back here. But that'll come when I have a little more money in time. More babies yet? Nope. See, that one's getting old. Finally! Babies! So another reason to hang on to them is that you can replace. do a trade, so to speak. And you see that your animals are getting old. You can replace them with a younger one. Yay, my beetles had babies. Finally had babies. Now, if I were to go in and sell, I would get $2,000. But I'm making good money, so I'm gonna hang on to them for now. Like I said, they just make a good trading bargain. I like to smooth out the long grass. Because it just gives the zoo a neater appearance. I mean, you can have sections of, like, wild grass. For like ecological reasons. Like you see in parks now, sometimes they'll have like sections roped off and they'll put a sign that says not to touch the section at all. And it's got like wildflowers and <clears throat> all kinds of wild plants and things in it for like nature. Or they'll rope off certain sections in neighborhoods and say this is all for ecological balance and you can't touch this area. I've seen that in certain neighborhoods, so when I'd go for walks in certain places with my dog, I'd see little areas like that, be little roped off areas.
Like, seriously, who knocked this over? See? Rude. Rude. Whoopsie. With this fierce impression, just because you're rude, I'm gonna put a freaking security camera right there. Because I can. There's some mammals and snakes that will make short work of it. And it can't hide. And it doesn't have to be right there. Oh. It's eyesight. It's poor. But this one, though. Let's go back into. Time. Nothing to replace. Go on, vandalize object. Well, I only had one pickpocket with them. That's not bad. Four years? That's not bad. Two security guards? Guess the cameras make a difference. Let's get another one. Here's another one right in here. There we go. Alright, I think we'll call it stops on this one. So as you can see, I'm up to 11,000. And I have one antelope. Pop the balloon! You can pop the balloons, that's really fun. I don't like doing it when the guests are there, but I'll do it when the guests let go of them. If I catch it. But like I said, um, good start. I've got one antelope. And several more to go. I can actually add the... What is it, the... Where's my list? Oh, stop it, guess. I can actually add the horned wonks in with the gins block. Oh yeah, I met a challenge. So you come up with these different... This game comes up with these zoo challenges you can do, if you haven't noticed these. And you get a reward when you meet them. So this one was drink profits, so that's $500. Guest numbers, I have 300 So that's another... that's $1,000. So again, those things come in handy. This says adopt habitat species. So if I replaced one more, which is the horned orcs, actually could go in with the... Games walk. Boom. That would actually be... I would actually get $1,000 for that. And then, when the challenges start, you click on this community tab. And the challenges will be listed here. You can see the last one is still listed. Splish Splash. Release 5 star semi-aquatic animals. I released 16 of them. And the challenge was met, so that's good. That's a hard challenge to beat. Anything 5 star is hard to do. Gold star is much easier. Alright, people, what is your problem? So we're gonna stop here. And this will be episode one of how to build a community challenge zoo. So, appreciate anybody who watched this video and stuck around until the end. I appreciate it. Um, if you liked it, give me a like. Um, give me a comment if you have any ideas you want to see, any questions, just put them in the comments, and let me know. Ugh, and I'm gonna have to add another staff room, but, um, we'll do that next time. So, take care, everybody!